हे गायज वेलकम टू लॉजिकल ह्यूमन सो टुडे विल डिस्कस दिस सिंपल कोडिंग इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन दैट आई केम अक्रॉस ऑन दिस साइट इंटरव्यू केक डॉट कॉम सो द क्वेश्चन इज लाइक दिस दैट द स्टॉक एक्सचेंज द एप्पल स्टॉक एक्सचेंज इट ओपन एट नाइन थर्टी ए एम लोकल टाइम एंड देन then the thing is suppose that the they have uh, means they have mentioned the scenario that suppose that after 60 minutes i mean it opens at 9:30 am and then at uh, 10:30 am so after 60 minutes if the stock price is 500 dollar so they'll write like this stock price is yesterday at uh, 60 so the minutes after the opening of the stock action will be the indices okay and the, the value the the uh, the value stored in the array is going to be the the stock price cost at that time okay so stock price is like this so this stock price is yes so 10 is uh, at 1 uh, minute 9:31 am and then 9:32 am 9:33 9:34 9:35 9:36 am and these are the prices 10 dollar 7 5 like this so what they want is the scenario is the they i uh, mean it should be able to uh, return the best profit <coughs> this uh, this function that they need to create get max profit from after and the parameter they pass is the array so they want the best stock profit that they could make from one purchase and one sale of apple stock yesterday so first they will purchase okay so the prices will be uh, i mean first they'll buy and then they'll sell and how much is the maximum profit that they make that is what we have to find so say suppose they buy at 10 and then sell at 11 so they'll make a profit of 1 dollar if they buy at 7 <coughs> and sell at 11 they'll make a profit of 4 dollar so the maximum scenario as they have mentioned here is that when they buy at 5 dollar and sell at 11 dollar so they'll make 6 dollar profit okay so we have to uh, write a code that can calculate it then no matter how many uh what is the size of the arrow no matter how many numbers are there okay so guys let's do it okay so we have this sample console application and i am going to make an array so the array is like this oh, oh, sorry yeah the array will be like this if this is okay so let's i just copy paste these things here <coughs> so this is going to be the method So let first say it will be int. It will be an integer array. Okay, it's going to be new. <coughs> int array, and this is going to be inside curly braces. I think. Okay, so this has been solved. Now this one we need to create a method that. will pass the array okay so let's just say that let's mark it as static so that we don't have to create a uh, means object on the class so static and it's not going to return anything but will just directly print from that okay and it's going to accept an integer array and let's <coughs> keep the name same are you guys oh bhaiya oh so let's keep the uh, name same here and we are calling this method here and uh, here we uh, let's loop around it okay so we are going to write a for loop here and i is equal to 0 and it will uh, say in so we are going to traverse through the array we are going till the last this second last element and then we'll compare with the rest of the element so we'll start with this 10 and we are going to compare the profit with every other element till here okay and then we'll start at 
<coughs> and then we'll start at seven and then we'll uh, loop till nine. And uh, after that, and we'll yeah, and we'll go to go to this uh, second last element and then yeah. We'll okay, guys. Yeah. So and we are going to compare it. <coughs> so let's uh, first we, we need to calculate the length. Let's calculate the length as in length length is equal to stock prices dot dot length. Okay. <coughs> this is going to be the length and we are not going to traverse the whole area we are going till the second last element because there is no point in comparing with the i mean the comparing with the last element okay. so till second last element was Okay, so we are going to use another loop here. Sorry for the disruption. Of the, that was a crazy guy, man, out there. Yeah, really. Sorry for the that interruption also. So, yeah. So, will this first loop we are going to traverse till this last, this second last element? Because there is no point. Because we need to have this. This in this loop we are going to these i means uh, we are going to take the bind. I mean. These uh, these are the possible I mean uh, the elements. Uh, these are at these uh, possible prices we can buy because we cannot uh, buy at the last price because then there is no other element the last element because then we have to sell also we are trying to calculate the maximum profit. Okay guys, so now we'll traverse. Uh, we will use another loop and we'll see the element that we can sell on. And also th this tenth element we can't sell because we haven't yet bought it, so we can't sell now. So from this to this we'll sell. So the excluding the first element we will we can sell any of these elements. Okay, so we'll start at. <coughs> and also if we are buying this element, this fifth element, we cannot uh, we cannot sell at this price, right? At uh, we cannot at ten or seven we cannot sell. We'll have to sell at eight, eleven or nine. Okay. So, so this I, so all this, this R J value will be based on this I. It will always be I plus one J. It, it will be J will be less than L. And J plus plus. Okay, guys. Yeah. Now we are going to do this. Now suppose that uh, let's take two variables uh, by. This will be used for the buying. This will be the buying price, and end sell will be the selling price, and in profit will be the profit. <coughs> we'll keep the profit here, and let's let's initialize them to the default, but. Because if we don't initialize them, then it might create a problem. Okay, so if we'll have to calculate if buy if sell minus buy is greater than profit, then what we'll do it. Okay, not sell minus buy guys. Yeah, <coughs> because sell they are zero. If a uh, what's the array? Day? Yeah, this one is the array. If <coughs> if j because j will be the selling price. If j minus i is greater than profit. Then buying price will be
I only and selling price will be and profit will be and what is the meaning of this thing that means suppose that we have calculated a profit for some values but later if we can uh, encounter such values that this selling value because this loop will be for buying this loop will be for selling if we find a value at uh, means selling value uh, minus buying value is greater than profit so that means this will be this will make a greater profit then we'll exchange the buy value will be i the sell will be in this profit and this will keep on updating till we have found the maximum profit okay guys so i think after this loop we'll have found the maximum profit and then as uh, according to this that <coughs> buying for pi and selling we can print it to the console console dot right line uh yeah is that instead of these will be using placeholders be zero placeholder and this will be the first placeholder and uh, yeah buying for that selling for this other okay guys so let's just see how it runs let's have this so that it doesn't <coughs> is it buying for 5 and selling for 11 just like just like these okay guys now let's just uh, try to add some more values say let's uh, uh, this one okay guys so we have to close this okay so let's say that there is a $1 price is also available okay and then there is uh, say $4 say $82 say there is a $34 There is again one dollar, <coughs> forty-five dollar. Okay, so let's just run. So as you can easily see that the profit, highest profit, would be buying at one and then selling at sixty-seven. So let's just see that if it is able to calculate the see guys buying for one at one dollar and selling at sixty-one dollar. So this was another example of using arrays that we saw. Guys, if you have uh, more such interview questions, uh, then I I would try to solve. I can't promise that I'll be able to solve completely, but I can try and take help of my colleagues so we can solve it together, guys. Right? Yeah. So guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you, and have a nice day.